So I have question one here, but this was a question paper for the first quiz, uh, 2100. Same department, same topic, so we can talk about it. Question one, A, a conic section centered at negative one comma negative one has one vertex at negative three comma negative three. The distance between the directrix and the vertex is three E over eight, where E is its eccentricity. Given that E is a multiple of two, find the value of E and then the equation of the conic section. So let's see. So the first thing is that a E, question one A, E uh, is a multiple of two. Now we are saying that uh, uh, this E here, technically is supposed to be greater than zero. So where it is a multiple of two, it can be written as two, um, as two a, where a is an integer. You can add, so mean that it's either it's two, it's four, and we know that when e is equal to one, it will be a parabola. Uh, when e is less than one, it will be an ellipse. Uh, when e is greater than one, it will be hyperbola. So we are talking about the hyperbola here. So for hyperbola, if you are to see what we are given, so we are given uh, a point. We are given a point negative. We're given a point negative one comma negative one. A coin is centered at negative one comma negative one. So negative one uh, comma negative one. This is the center. And then has one vertex at negative three uh, comma negative one here. That's a vertex here. So meaning that this guy can open uh, this side like that. And then the distance between the directrix and the vertex uh, is, is 3e over, over 8. So if it is 3e over 8, then we go for the formula between the distance uh, between the directrix and the vertex. So distance between directrix and the vertex. So the formula here is given by the distance from here so if the directrix is somewhere here, or wherever it is, so we are saying it is this distance here, which is A, so it is A plus, plus A over E. So because A over E is a distance from the center to the vertex, I mean, from the center to the uh, directrix line. And then we know that the distance from the vertex to the center is A. 
So we have A plus uh, the distance from, remember how we define the formula for the vertex? Uh, the formula for the directrix. So we get this. Now, this has been given, we've been given the distance. In the question, we've been told that the distance between the, uh, the vertex and the directrix is 3E is 3e over 8. This one here. So you create the formula and solve. Now, what else do we know? We also know that we've been told that the, the center is at negative 3, comma negative 1. That's the vertex, and the center is at negative 1, comma negative 1. So I can get the distance A to be. Uh, A will be um, negative three minus negative one, which is equal to negative two. And then you get the modulus. So A is equal to two. You know, distance is never negative. So we have A is equal to two. And then if A is two, then so far here we're saying we'll have two uh, plus two over e is equal to three e uh, over eight. Remember, we're solving for e, so we can take two the other side. Uh, we can take two e the other side, so we have two uh, three e over eight. Uh, now let's just do this. Let's just multiply throughout by. 8e multiply throughout by 8e so that we have 16e plus 2 times 8 that is 16 is equal to 3e squared so now we have a quadratic that is 3e squared uh, minus 16e minus 16 is equal to zero. So if we multiply here, uh, three times negative 16 to give us negative 48, and this is the product, then the sum is negative 16. So what about our factors? Uh, negative 12, and now uh, for that guy to be, That guy to be uh, okay, 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 okay. So the formula here, I think that's where is a problem. The formula is supposed to be minus here. Yeah on the E, okay. So the formula here is supposed to be minus because we have, we have two directrices for the, for the hyperbola. So you can consider the direct that is closer to, to the vertex given. And not the other one which we don't know. So if you consider the one that is closer, the one that is away from the other, a point, then we we'll need to subtract the a over e uh, from from the given a to get that one. So that because we've already known the value of a to be two, so we we'll have this, which is three e over eight. And then we we'll do what we did. We we'll multiply that by three e, so we'll get us uh, by eight e. I mean. So we'll get 16e uh, minus. So are you going to share this video? Yes, I will. All right. I don't have enough bundles. <laughs> OK. So I'm multiplying by 8e here. So we'll have 2 by 8e, that is 16e. Then the e's will cancel, so I have negative 16 here. 
is equal to, and the A's will cancel, so have, I mean the eights will cancel, so we just have three E uh, squared, okay, good. So that now we have three E squared uh, minus 16 E, and then plus 16 is equal to zero. Okay, now it makes sense. The product is 48. The sum is negative 16. So the factors will be negative 12 and negative four. So that when you get back here, we have three E squared minus, I uh, can pick any here, minus four E minus 16 E, a minus 12 E, minus 12 E uh, plus 16 is equal to zero. Then we fact out E, we get three E minus four. Fact out four, the other side, we fact out four, we get three E minus four. Zero. So this is giving us e minus four, and also three e minus four is equal to zero, implying that e is equal to four, and e is four over three. So this is our e. Now remember, we said that e is a multiple of e is a multiple of two. So this implies that. E is equal to four. So it is a hyperbola indeed. Then, so what was key here is having this. It's very, very important. The, the formula for the distance between the directrix and the vertex. Excuse me, sir, so that eight is also part of the formula? No, the, the, the three E over eight, it was a given distance in the question. Okay. Yes, so the formula will just be A minus A over E. Then now we want to identify what this is. So identify this uh, conic. I mean, not. I mean, we've already identified. Now I want to find its the equation. Let's find the actual equation of the conic. So what do we have? We have a a is equal to two, and we have e is equal to four. So let's look for an equation that uses a and e. So we have the equation for e is equal to C over A. And since E is four, uh, C is not known and A is known, this implies that C is also known to be eight. And if C is eight, for the hyperbola, we know that, um, we know that C squared uh, is given by A squared plus, plus B squared. And so we're looking for we're looking for B now. We have A, so we have uh, B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So C is eight uh, minus two squared. That is sixty four minus four, which is equal to sixty. That is B squared there. So then. The center, remember, we are given the center to be negative one comma negative one here. So our equation will be x uh, minus minus one uh, squared over, as you can see, it's on the x-axis. So the x has to be positive over a, 
So A is two, so when you square two, minus y minus minus one squared over b is i mean b squared has already been found to be sigiste so just put the sigiste is equal to one so worked out well this is x plus one squared over four minus y plus one uh, squared over 60 is equal to one. So this is the equation. So now for A, we go to B. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Can you kindly repeat on how you got the X minus negative one squared minus Y minus negative one squared? Okay, so our general formula should be X minus H squared over A squared uh, minus minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to one. Now what is happening is the center is h comma k. It has been given to be negative one comma negative one in the question. So when we take the h, h is negative one, k is negative one. So that's why we're going to have the minus, minus h, and then the other minus K. So that's how we get to X plus. Is that okay? Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, so let's, so here we've answered, but A1 and two. A1, the value of E, A2, the equation. So let's go to, B, a conic section is given uh, by B, a conic section is given by nine X squared over 29 minus 16 XY over 29 uh, minus 2x over the root of 29 uh, plus 129 y squared over 145 minus 4y over 5 the root of 29 minus four over five is equal to zero. Identify the conic section. The simplest test here is B squared minus four AC. That's the simplest test to use here. Remember when it is less than zero, when it is greater than zero, when it is equal to zero, uh those tests so here i want to get um so before you you use this remember our a is the coefficient of x squared b the coefficient of x y and c the coefficient of, of y squared so let's not get mixed up on which one is c here so we'll start uh, b squared minus 4ac is equal to b squared is negative 16 over 29 uh, square. And then uh, minus, so minus 4a is 
over 29. C is 129 over 145. Like that. That is C. So calculate these numbers. Uh, what is 16 squared? And then 29 squared. And this cause calculator has allowed someone to punch for us. What is 16 squared over 29 squared? Negative 8.8275. So it has to be positive. Oh, the final answer. It has to be positive. You've done the final answer? Yes, after dividing. Okay, negative. After dividing, yes. 8.8275. 8.8275. This is just for, for the first mm -hmm. one? For the first one, yes. So it has to be positive then. It goes to square the negative as well. Oh, really? Yes. Let me do it again. Okay. <laughs> Yes, post you. Okay. Then I do mm -hmm. four times nine times one One point two four one three. One point two four one three. That's for the first one. Nine over twenty nine. Twenty nine over twenty nine. Okay, so this one you you do four times nine times one twenty nine. Four open bracket nine divided by two nine close bracket open again one point two four so you need to do this one at once so to get the actual thing So let's see. If you do four by nine by one point nine, we'll get four mm -hmm. six four four and then divide by twenty nine by one four five. So we get four two zero five. So this will give us uh, to give us four six four four five by four two zero five. 
So it's giving us minus 1.104. So what does this mean? Uh, sir, excuse. Hello. Hello. Uh, was the calculation for B squared correct? So this is 16 squared. That's 256. Over. 29 squared. Oh. Yeah, that was... That's eight for one minus four six four four over four two zero five. Okay, let's see. So two five six divided by eight for one is zero point three zero four minus the other one is one point one zero four, which is equal to this minus 1.104. So we get negative 0 0.7996. Okay. So we wrote the first line. Okay. So if we have this, then this is less than zero. So when this guy is less than zero, then what we have is an ellipse. Then in the X, um, in the x prime y prime coordinate system, the equation of the directrix is x prime. The equation of the directrix is still this was b1, then b2. The equation of the directrix is x prime is equal to 7 over 2. Find the corresponding equation in the x y coordinate system. Find the corresponding equation of the directrix in the XY coordinate system. That's the meaning there. So uh, what do we do? So we need to get the angle here of rotation. So the angle of rotation, remember we have two options, tan or cot. So if you went for tan, uh, tan two theta is equal to B over A minus C. So what are we getting? B is negative 16 over 29 over A. A uh, is nine over 29 minus C is 129 over 145. This is one thing uh, giving us what we get. So you can just do these figures. Uh, just calculate everything and then get the one thing. So something like 0 0.95. When you calculate, then this is an angle. So because an angle is not a standard one, as you can see, it's not a standard angle. So what we do is we can convert it into a fraction. Uh, so into a fraction, 
that's something like uh, 95 over 100. Uh, five in 95. Uh, so five in 95 goes up approximately 19 times over, over 20. Number is too casual in my substitution. So my calculations, let's see, uh, 16 divided by 0.9 to give us 0 0.5517. And then over uh, nine divided by 0.9 will give us 0 0.3103 uh, minus 1.9 divided by 145. That is 0 0.8896. Remember the top one is negative. So now we have like negative 0 0.5517 over 0 0.3103 minus 0 0.8896. Uh, that's negative 0 0.5793. And then we divide, so negative 0 0.55. One seven divided by uh, negative zero point five seven nine three. That is something like zero point nine five. Okay, so that's correct. So zero point nine five two three. So it's giving us nineteen over twenty. When you round off. Then, uh, so what a fraction, so then we can go to the triangle. So what is tan in the triangle? Tan is opposite. So if we put a two theta here, then the opposite is 19 over adjacent, which is 20. So we we'll have a 20 squared plus 19 squared, and that's 20 by 20, which is 400, by 20, which is 400, minus uh, 19 by 19. So that is 361. So we get 39. So 400 minus, 361. Oh, so I'm supposed to add here plus 361. So we get 761. And then the square root of this now, the square root of uh, our answer. Oh my God. So the square root of 761 is like uh, 28. That's 27.5, so let me just say 28. So in round off, we get this. So this means that now you go to cos two theta, so it has to come out as cos two theta, another direct one. So cos, we know that it's the adjacent of hypotenuse, so it will be 20, it will be 20, 20 over 28. 
and then sine two theta. Um, sine, so which is opposite of uh, this guy here. That's how we get uh, this. And then now to get just cos theta that we need to use in the formula, use the square root, okay, of half uh, one minus for cos is one plus uh, cos two theta, which will give us uh, the square root of half one plus cos two theta has been found to be 20 over 28. And then sine uh, theta will be the square root of half one minus the same cos. So it's going to be the square root of half one minus 20 over 28. So approximately, <sighs> this figure needs to be located now nicely. So the a trick question you need. Okay, so we keep these calculations and look back so that you can start from there. So what we need now is cos theta. Someone should calculate these values and then sine theta. These values when we look back. Hope you're saving now because it's because it's cutting. So inside here we have 28 down over 28 plus 20, that's 48, then divide by two down here in the root. So it's like on top we'll have, we'll have 24. So just doing the square root of 24 over, 20, over 28. And then down, it will be 28 minus 20, that is eight. Right by two, that is four. The other one has four over 28 square root. Just getting these two square roots. Four over 28, which is two over root 28. Oh, this is two over root 28. And the other one, 